Sorry guys. Hi, it's Justin with me and my nuclear family here. Let me just adjust this camera real quick. I went to Daiso in Berkeley, um, which is an hour away from me. The Union City is an hour and 20 minutes away from me and I will be going there because the Berkeley one was so hard to get to. The, it's you know right by the UC Berkeley campus, um, college campus, and it was just bananas in there. And they didn't really have a lot in stock. They were stocking as we were going. So what I got, uh, it's going to be pretty much a, a kind of a haul, a big haul, and I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. I also want to put a disclaimer. I been on vacation last week because it was my birthday, and we went to Lake Tahoe, which you'll see a vlog on it. Um, so if I haven't got back to your comments, it's not that I forgot about you, it's not that I'm ignoring you, I've just been really busy, but I plan on getting back to you, so I promise I will do that. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to pull in particular order, I just, just got two big bags, um, and this is what I got. I got some lace tape, some lace washi tape. I got this A5 planner, which I've been looking for one. I didn't really want to invest in a big one until I knew how to use it. And I put one of my happy scrappy paper pages already in it. I think it's so cute. For $1.50, you can't go wrong. And I just love the pink flowers on it. So I picked up that. I also picked up these A5 inserts to go inside of them. I also picked up these wash, these masking tape washies and the little bows, which is so cute. I picked up this adorable. I like to keep one in my purse. This is a measuring tape and it's in a pink bear, which I could not resist. I also got this pink correction tape in a bunny. I mean, look how cute that is. So stinking adorable. I also got me this slim sushi roll mold because I want to take a try at making homemade sushi. I have before, but when I found this, I thought for $1.50, it doesn't hurt to make my own. I also got a couple of washies. This one has flags, a tee, some all kinds of different patterns on it, girly patterns. Like this one is like a little, looks like a lotion bottle or a perfume bottle. And this one has little birthday, it's almost like a package birthday type one, which I think is so cute. I literally went loco in the store. I probably pretty much bought one of everything that I could. I got some markers. And like I said, it won't be in any order. This is a, a white chalk marker. This one is a paint marker in gold. This one is a paint marker in pink. And I know I have more in here. I just have to find them. So here is a chalk marker in this, this bright yellow. Here's another lace washi tape in the pink color. I also got several, one of each of these, I got these page flags and the little um, uh, pencils, colored pencils. I did a friend mail, so I got two of them. And then I got the little frogs, because someone had requested me to pick them up and she knows who she is, so you'll probably end up seeing a video, Corey, it's for Corey Sharer. And then this one is of the dogs, they only had one of those, so I got that one. And then this one is of the little little dolls. It's so stinking cute. I love those and I love using them in pocket lettering. Here's another washi and little bunting. Here's another washi and more um, bows for my collection. I also got these zipper storage bags. There's 75 in these, but I split it with Corey because um, I told her that I would for pocket lettering, and they come in pink, green, and blue. I also bought three of these glue tapes, and you know, usually at the 99 cent store, I'll pick them up because I love using them for crafting. But when I saw them there, I picked up three of these in different colors. And I got it in red, I got it in orange, and I think I got it in blue. But that'll, if I find it, I'll show it to you. I also got. This purple polka dot masking tape for friend mail to, you know, wrap up boxes and stuff. This craft punch for my scrapbooking and pocket lettering. I got some push pins. And I got them in the pink hearts, pink and red hearts. I got them also in this pattern. And then the shamrock pattern. 
Look how cute that is. I don't know why I'm shaking, you guys. I think too much caffeine I had today. And then I bought this embosser, which I thought was really cool. That's what they look like. And then this is what it looks like on the back. shows you how to use it. So it's got a heart, a star, a bow, a cleft note or a little music note and like a crown. So that's what you can't see, unfortunately. I also try, wanted to try these beautiful eyelashes. They, they have the flare on the side, which that's what I wanted. So I bought two packages of those. Here's a green chalk marker. Here is a funny eraser. This one's of a sushi style, so it's a food eraser. I'm gonna put this on my desk for decoration. Here's a washi tape blue floral I got this they have everything there I swear this mini slicer in pink in this pink case so it's a mandolin and it's got a little container to hold it in I also got a pedometer I know that sounds crazy but I got a pink pedometer I'm gonna give it a go see if it works hopefully it works just to see how many steps I take in a day here is a green paint marker a blue paint marker and then these two kind of go together this is an electric eraser in pink so it actually spins on the top it spins around and then this is the actual backup and has a little ca uh, clear case to actually put it in so that is for my Hobonichi here is a bright orange I know it's coming up dark orange but it's like a neon orange chalk marker this is funny. This is a standing rice scooper. Every I grew up with these. Every Filipino, I'm half Filipino and Irish. Every Filipino that I know actually has one of these. And when I saw this, I thought it was so cute. And I thought, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab that so I can add that to my collection. I bought two of these. One is going in the friend mail, and it's already packed up, so I can't show you it. But this is a cell phone holder in Squishy, and this one's for me. Even though my cell phone probably won't hold it or I might have to squish it out a little bit because it'll be large. I just think it's so cute and this is going to sit next to my bed in the bear. I thought that was so cute. I bought these crafting tweezers which will be good for do adding gemstones to my pocket lettering and to my Hobonichi. I also found this essential oils. It smells so good. It's Cherry Blossom by Sakura. This one I thought was really cool and I couldn't pass it up. It's a tower accessory stand. So it's got two pieces. This one will go up on top and I plan on just putting different washies and it's gonna sit on my desk hopefully or if not, I'll sit off to the side. It was bright that day and I wanted to pick up some glasses so I picked up some sunglasses. I mean, like I said, they had everything there. Household stuff, all kinds of different stuff. I got some ribbon tape and this glitter right here, these colors. This one is actual um, cotton tape with the cute design, and that's what that looks like. And then I also got this washi tape, and it's like a French theme, if you can see that. Hearts and stuff like that, it's so cute. Here's another paint marker in yellow. I picked up these fancy uh, fold back clips and look at how cute those are. They've got hearts on it, bows, stars, polka dots, really, really cute. I love those. Here's the, it's actually black blue tape. Here's another paint marker and this one is in black. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for yet, but I wanted them. And then here's washi in a green pattern with flowers. I thought it was so pretty. Here's another pack of the fancy clips, and this one's in yellow and green. So these will be going in my pocket lettering. I thought these were cute, and for my planner. Here is some pliers in pink, so I can add that to my crafting collection. I mean, for $1.50, that is so good. And then this one is an eyelet punch. And I'll try and link it down below, but um, Darlene had sent me a wonderful friend mail and she gave me a bunch of eyelets. So when I saw this, I thought that's perfect and I can use it to embellish my pocket lettering. I found these cute little envelopes. 
so you can stick a note inside and I'm going to be adding these to my pocket littering and there's only 10 I think I might have bought two of them but I, I'm not quite sure and then I found these cute little funny eraser and these are in the Japanese sweets I picked out another one for friend mail but it's packed up already and if you follow Cory Sharer I'll link her channel down below you'll be able to see what I sent her eventually these are donut earphone holders so stinking cute I thought I have to have those Here's another craft punch, and for a dollar fifty, you can't beat that. These are hard to come by, and I've seen them for like ten bucks, five bucks, at um, Michaels and Walmart. Here's a hot pink chalk marker, and this these have the fine tips. I believe it has two different tips. This is probably the fatter tip, and this is probably the finer tip. I also got some soft white clay because I'm going to be doing a DIY. Um, you'll see in a Walmart video that I'm going to be filming shortly. Um, I have bought some different polymer clay and I'll be doing a DIY with this. Here is some more um, washi tape and it's got bunnies and letters and polka dots. Pink's just so cute. Here's another like Paris French themed washi tape which I thought was adorable. Here's another craft punch and the little star pattern like a snowflake pattern. I thought these were cute and I couldn't pass them up. These are like little arm, you put them on your hands. So I'm going to wear these during the winter. See, they're so cute. They remind me of Madonna in the 80s, but they were usually cut short. But these ones are long, so these will keep me warm during the winter. All right, we're almost done with this bag right here. There is this craft punch in this um, pattern and then a bl blue um, chalk marker. And then here's needle nose pliers for my collection, my crafting collection. Almost done, guys. I also got some cotton tape in this pattern right here. And like I said, they were stocking everything, so things were, they were a little bit low on stuff, so I was like, darn. But I got what I could. And then here is this mint green with yellow polka dots. This is so freaking adorable. I also thought this was cool. It's a receipts holder and it's a slide. That's what it looks like and I'm going to keep all my Dollar Tree and all my receipts in this so that way when I do my taxes at the end of the year I at least have them for proof. This is a needle felting because um, I want to get into that needle felting that you know with the wool. So I bought the needle and with that I got this. I should have got one in every color but I wanted to just try it out. These are all in the, the browns and pinks and white cream colors. And then I also got some glitter ribbon tape in this color. And these are for my pocket lettering. I thought this was really pretty to hold my pencils in for my desk. I just thought it was so sweet. It's pink and it's got a rose pattern and it's ceramic. And it's got a little diamond detail. It's just so cute and that's what it looks like on the side. So that's going to be, you know, where I put all my um, pencils. Now this is a Spamasubi, a Masubi maker, and you put anything in it. But I love Spamasubi. I know some people don't like Spam. I do. I grew up with it. I just love it. And I love to make Spamasubi. So when I found these, I thought these were really cool. And for $1.50 to help you make sushi at home, I'm all about it. This one is a Tamago. Well, it's actually just a little... Um, frying pan but you can make a tamago egg in it which is a uh, Japanese style rolled egg and that's why I wanted this square omelet pan so I'll be using this and maybe I'll do a DIY on a sushi and if you guys want to see me do that comment down below and let me know and I will show you what I do and then I got these little stickers basically they help close up it's you know they pinch this is what it looks like you can use them on um, letters, bags, you know, whatever. And they're just in just pastries, donuts, cupcakes. Bought two of them, one for a friend mail and then one for me. And these will go for my pocket littering. And then last but not least, I bought the two of these. Oh my gosh, I actually got this too. So stinking cute. Oh my god, yeah, see, I knew I bought two of those little, small, little pocket littering um, envelopes. And then I got this for my desk, or for my um, little area. It's two little bins, 
and it sits inside this wood box. So I'm going to paint it white and I bought two of them so they can sit on top of each other so I can have some more organization and I just thought they were so cute. I had to have them. And then last but not least, it's sitting in my car, but I bought a fluffy steering wheel cover. Unfortunately, it is a little bit too small because when I put it on, it feels good on my um, steering wheel. But the problem is, is that it, the overlay, the, the lip, I can't see if there's any gas. I can't see how fast I'm going. So for $1.50, this kind of was a, but that's all right. You know, maybe my husband can use it in his truck and maybe it'll be a lot better because that's what it's supposed to be like. And I got it in gray. But that's all for my long Daiso haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me. Um, welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for staying my other subscribers. And I also want to let you guys know I am going to be doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. I know that I'm way past a thousand subscriber. I think I'm like at 1120 right now. And I appreciate every one of you. I love you all for your support. And I really appreciate it. You make my hobby of YouTube fun and interesting and I've met so many wonderful people and I cannot thank you enough. I hope you guys are having a great day and be on the lookout for my giveaway because it's coming soon. I'm just gathering a bunch of items. I'll see you in another video guys. Bye!